If you've ever wondered why a snake has a forked tongue, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Garrett Hartle and this is Reach Out Reptiles. And today we want to kind of take a little bit of a deeper dive into exactly what these animals are doing when they flick those tongues. Now by forked tongue, we mean it actually comes out and instead of being a single piece like mine, these tongues split like a Y at the end. Now a lot of people who are nervous about snakes are afraid that that tongue is going to actually sting or stab them, but this doesn't actually happen. Their tongues are very soft and very sensitive. Now the way that you and I smell is by sniffing in scent particles from the air and discerning them. Snakes do this quite differently. What they actually do is they stick that moist tongue out and gather those scent particles. And when they bring them in, they're actually gonna brush past a special set of nerve endings that connect to something called the Jacobson's organ or their vomeronasal organ. This has a few advantages. First of all, it takes that contact of those scent particles, especially if it's picked up off the ground, and it puts it into direct contact with their sensory organs. This makes their sense of smell hundreds of times more sensitive than ours. Another huge advantage is that they can actually gather these smells not just from the air. Have you ever gone for a swim and try to take a nice sniff of something underwater? doesn't work that well for you and I, but a snake can smell just as easily underwater and as they swim as they can on land. When you see that tongue flicking rapidly, it means the snake is curious and it's trying to gather up information about its environment so that it can decide what it needs to do next. Now that we understand that, we can actually dive into some of the reasons why that tongue is spread so wide. The first and kind of obvious thing is that being spread out and gathering those two points allows them to have a greater range of picking up those scent particles with their tongue. Because it's coming on two ends instead of one, it's almost like listening to surround sound audio instead of music coming from a single speaker. That is, you can get different input in the left and the right, and it gives you a very three-dimensional picture of your surroundings. Now that all sounds cool, but when this is really important is when the animal is trying to follow a scent in a directional manner. Let's say I'm a prey item and I place my scent along the ground. The scent on the ground is gonna last much, much longer there than it is in the air. So imagine a prey item traveling across the ground and leaving behind it a distinctive scent trail as it goes. So a snake will come along with its forked tongue and as long as it tastes that scent trail, tastes, get it, tastes, the scent trail on both tips of the tongue, it can continue tracking. But once it gets to a point where the trail veers off to one direction or another, it's only going to taste that scent trail on one side and not the other, telling the snake it needs to readjust and test the environment until it's on the right path again. That is why a snake has a forked tongue. And if you found that interesting, check out some of the other videos that we have on some of the amazing things that these snakes can do, such as their ability to clone themselves if a female doesn't have a mate. It's right over there. Science is wonderful. And so are you. Yes, you are.